Here we go. Katie Simmers versus Gabriella Bryan. Give us the tail of the tape. Well, Katie, already with a couple of wins this year, you got to expect her to be a contender here on finals incredibly well. Here she goes, Chris. It seems like we got some action. Gabby with a huge turn outside. I said there's no chill. And they, uh, they got the memo, starting it off with a bang. Gabriella Bryan's power has been unmatched so far in this event. What a way to start. This was amazing, though. Look at that. Even grabbed the rail just slightly. I mean, so degree of difficulty just absurd right there by Gabby. And she dropped an excellent score in her previous heat. Got to be thinking this is going to be a large number, too. She's done this several times, though. Has been on an absolute tear. Title threat. He's locked into that top five position, for now at least. So these are 35 minute heats, the very basic, the very essentials. 30, 35 minutes, whatever it is. Katie right here on her opener. Frothier wave on the outside, great opening snap right there. Good amount of release on the lip line too, carves it back. So strong combo to open this wave up and unfortunately for her, Chris. 26.58 to go, Katie Simmers having a look and she's in. Couple pumps, generating speed. What's she looking for? What do we got here for Katie Simmers? She's gonna stick to the wrap. Appropriate turn for the section of that wave. She's just waiting for this thing to get a little bit more critical and when it does, it goes wrong. It has, and Katie Simmers is gonna be nonstop on this one. She's gonna come off the bottom, get straight up into the lip, big front side air, can't pull it down. But that kind of surfing uh, and, and these kind of waves you know, this, this wind right here, I feel like is, is what we were after this whole event. Semi-final matchup, Clash of the Titans. And so far, Gabriella Bryan has had the edge by using the edges of her surfboard and throwing a lot of spray. Third turn. Uh -huh. And she's been having a little trouble at the end of her waves, but I don't think it really matters because that third turn was an assault on the senses. Gabby, great wave selection, excellent use of priority too. Waited a long time after getting the seven right here and great opening car, but these next two turns really impactful into the lip right there. Give it a growl, Mitch. Waka! Pulling a little strider right there and then just a little bit mistimed right at the end, but it's gonna come down to these second, turn, second and third turns on these waves. Good carve, but look at the high impact and the amount of spray she sends Ooh. on that second one, but especially the third right there, bango. You couldn't have placed those two turns any better. Look at right where she hit it. Just in the perfect pocket of the wave. And this one too. That was a incredible two turn combo. See how she keeps her speed down the line still though? Like that's something that she has in her surfing that few people have on tour. Here we go, this was during the break. Caitlin Simmers. This is an answer back to Gabriella Bryant's opening waves, and this is what we want to see from Katie. Yeah, I was honestly surprised that the score didn't go a little bit higher, but she did get a little hung up right there. But the timing on that last section was perfect, and a really difficult maneuver right there, right at the end too, but great opening combination on the outside. Really love that turn right there in the pocket, very critical. And then you can see right here, she puts a lot of emphasis into these last closing maneuvers. I just feel like the flow from Caitlin is a big difference within this heat so far. A little bit more maneuverability in terms of the open face right here, Chris. And when it comes to the speed management from Caitlin Simmers, to me, perfect on this wave right here. Great combo. Gets a little caught coming out of that turn. But look at the way it actually set her up perfectly for the last one. Into the lip. Great stuff for the surfer who is now in live rankings in the lead, Chris. So... Caroline Marks is hanging in there at number five, but here we go, Katie Simbers. I like that you could tell, you know, what 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 her intent is, and it's about to be criminal because you saw the little stall. Seems like Katie, she's going to be looking for an air here, Chris. Yeah, we're trying to fill the field for the Lexus WSL finals coming up September 6th through 14th. She's just looking for that ramp. Her family basically it travels on tour together. Oh, family first, like the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> don't bring up Dominic Toretto. <laughs> don't, don't tempt me, bro. All right, decision time for Katie Simmers. Well, it's not her choice to make because Gabriella Bryan had priority and she uses it. 
She's trying to close this one out. And that's how you do it with two big power hooks. Wave could have a double up through the inside. It's growing down the line. She's building speed. Trying to clean up a finish. A little messy at the end, but uh, she made it work. Those first two turns, solid. So door open here. Here goes Katie. All right, looking for a six, seven, one. This is one of the most exciting surfers on the planet right now. Hoping for a clutch finish, building up speed down the line, looking for the section. There she see it, a lot of pumping, a lot of speed. Quick snap there, comes around it. Floats it again, she needs a critical Whoa! section to work with. Woo! Woo! I'm with Mitch. We got the best judges in the business. Well, this was a very difficult wave to surf. I mean, the, for her to be able to keep up the pace with it and not get ahead of herself is one thing. So a couple floaters right there, down the line, once again. This turn is the most radical we've seen all event long, though. I Progression, love Progression, creativity, degree of difficulty, commitment, too. Look at that. Talking about seconds on the clock. And look, and look who sees it. She has to give it her all. Look at how technical it is, too. Digs the nose right here coming out of it. That's a turn that belongs in a video part right there. Oh, man. That was sick. Wow. The, the, the creativity, the degree of difficulty, the commitment to that maneuver right there. She just outpowered her right there, got better waves, and got the victory. So all credit to Gabriella Bryant, who just ripped her way into the finals here at the Surf City El Salvador Pro, presented by Corona. A lot of power and straight on the attack for you, Gabby. In that heat, Dog told me that's exactly what he asked you to do, is attack every maneuver, attack every wave. How did you apply that to the heat? Yeah, I think, uh, like he said, just go out there and just do what works best for me and what I'm good at and don't change that because it's unique for me. And um, if I just dig into what I know and how I surf, I knew I could do it. So just, it was a little slow wave-wise, but I made the ones that I got count, so I'm super stoked. Speaking of super, super stoked, you're finding yourself in the finals a bit more frequently these days. What do you think is the biggest difference, the biggest reason that you've been able to do that the last few events? Um, I had to lose it, I think, at the beginning of the year after two bad results. And um, after Margaret River, I was like, oh, I could do this. That was my first win and um, first final in two years, or yeah, two years. So um, just believing in myself, I think, is the biggest thing. And like I said before, just using my strengths to my advantage and making smart decisions. And now here.